Well, it's no secret Southern California housing is not cheap, but how many jobs do you need to afford rent? Real estate website Zillow crunched the numbers and they are startling. Their study comes out tomorrow, but our Joy Benedict has an exclusive look tonight. This is why I don't play video games with you. It's a typical night for Jacob Marker and Matt Garrison, who not only share a game, but an apartment just to make ends meet in North Hollywood. Two bedrooms. I mean, you could see it's not, it's not the Taj Mahal. <laughs> But for this Valley barista making minimum wage, having his own apartment just isn't an option. It's definitely rough knowing that the way I make my money and how hard I work for it will never be enough. As a video game designer, Garrison fares a little better financially, but has had at least one roommate for the last seven years as he tries to save for the future. The amount I'd pay for barely would cover the apartment if I were to be here alone like it would barely cover rent and this tale of two roommates is far from unique as a new study by Zillow says in order to afford a two bedroom apartment in Los Angeles a renter making minimum wage would need 2.7 full time jobs that's 108 hours of work every week $16 and 4 cents because the four cents makes all the difference. But LA actually fares better than the national average and most cities in the study. In Austin, it would take a little over five full-time minimum wage workers to afford a two bedroom rental. Jeff Tucker is an economist for Zillow. I think what this goes to show is that local policy measures can make a really big difference in raising people's incomes to help deal with that high cost of living. The study compared minimum wages in the nation's 50 largest cities versus the average cost of a rental. What they found is that cities that still use the federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour were the hardest to live in. Austin and then Atlanta are the two most unaffordable. And that's because, yeah, these are two cities that are pretty expensive, growing, in-demand cities that still have that federal minimum wage. The city that fared the best is Fresno, California. It's getting some of those California policies that are pushing up the minimum wage, but Fresno itself and, and the Central Valley in general is one of the last affordable parts of California. Affordable is not a word usually associated with LA. And with the average price of a two bedroom renting for $2,100 a month, living alone just isn't an option for many, including Marker. But he says he'll just keep working hard, hoping something gives so he can finally get some space. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.